What's going on everybody? My name's Calvin. My name's Angelo. We are the Vision Twins and we lost combined 300 pounds. Now it's our life mission to show the entire world how to do the same thing. In today's video, we are talking about if you should get weight loss surgery. And so our opinion on weight loss surgery has kind of changed over the last couple years. When we first started losing weight, our main focus was like, okay, do we need to get the surgery? That was something that was on our mind a lot, honestly. Like I didn't believe that we could lose weight without getting surgery, especially growing up. I was, I can remember being like nine or 10 years old, being in my mom's room and sitting there on her bed and telling her mom, I wanna get the weight loss surgery. Bro, gastric bypass surgery at nine years old? The, the thought of even thinking about that is actually very sad to be honest because like, you're, a kid, you you're a kid, you should be living your life, not necessarily worrying about like how your body looks, even though it's okay to focus on those type of things, but like, Getting surgery at nine? That's, that's crazy. That's sad. Yeah. We weren't so, obviously, we didn't get gastric bypass surgery at nine years old. And we that didn't is, get surgery at all, actually. That's, so That's insane. So, talking about how we grew up, that's just one thing, guys, is our mom had gastric bypass surgery when we were young. Or when we were, I think, what, three or four years old? Yeah, when we, we were young. Like three or four. So, by the time we were in kindergarten, I remember my kindergarten, our kindergarten graduation, our mom had came in a wheelchair because she had just gotten the surgery or she was still recovering from the surgery whatever the case was but i remember that very vividly and i didn't understand why she was in a wheelchair i didn't understand gastric bypass at that point but you know five five years later our mom or i was in my mom's room just questioning her and asking her please let us get the surgery but you know obviously at that age it's it's not the right choice so and so we kind of wanted to talk about that too because our story of growing up you know seeing our mom get the weight loss surgery and understanding that she was overweight at one point it really motivated us like okay i want to lose weight too but i want to get the surgery to do it and at our age and even at our weight we didn't necessarily need to get the surgery we just kind of wanted to get the the quicker way to get there and even if you do get the surgery it's not a it's not a bad thing that we feel like if you do get surgery some people have to do different things for themselves and at the end of the day we're proud that you're making a change for yourself and your body that's the main important thing at this is like if it makes you feel better if it makes you start working towards being the better person then go do the surgery but how you can really get to it though is making sure that you put in the effort and put in the work so continuing with our story in growing up overweight we began to start working out when we were you know 17 years old so i had gotten a job doing landscaping with one of my football buddies and i remember just looking up at the sun that day during the summer and i remember the day it was july 23rd 2016 I remember looking up at the sun and thinking, I wonder what I could look like by the time I graduate high school. Mm -hmm. So anything I did in that job, whether it was, whether it was taking out the trash, whether it was, you know, digging the pond or whether it was, you know, carrying cinder blocks, I made sure to turn it into a workout. So by the time we had gotten back to school that summer, everybody had noticed a significant difference between my twin brother Angelo and I. Yeah. And so even then that kind of proves to you that you can lose weight without getting surgery and of course it was probably something that he wasn't even thinking about he was just kind of doing it subconsciously and he ended up losing weight which is a freaking awesome accomplishment honestly but for me i always thought that i was going to be overweight my entire life i was going to end up on my 600 pound life so needing to get surgery when you were 17 did you think that you were going to get surgery like honestly did you think that eventually you were going to get the surgery i don't even know like honestly i just didn't even think that i didn't think i could lose weight and when that's what yeah when you were 17 yeah and so that's one thing that's stopping a lot of people is that they don't even believe that they can lose weight in the first place. And you know, most people, if they do get the surgery, they kind of resided to the belief that they can't do it unless they get surgery. But there's been plenty of people that have lost weight and lost a substantial amount of weight, even us two, and we didn't get surgery. So at the end of the day, it's really about what you think is possible for yourself. And for us, he kind of was the motivation for me to see like, okay, if he could lose 50 pounds, that means he could lose a hundred. <laughs> that means he could lose 150 pounds, you know? And so. I took that as my type of motivation to get going, start working out on myself. And from there, we the proof was evident that we didn't need to get surgery to lose weight. And so bringing it back to you, we want you to try to work out and try to get healthy without doing the surgery first. If it's something that you feel like you have to do that nothing is working for yourself, then okay, go get the surgery. But for most people, we don't wanna put pushing surgery onto people just because you don't necessarily need to do that to your body to, to in order to love yourself and to fix the way that all the mess ups that you've been doing in your life prior to that. Fact, so I was actually talking to, we had Summer Smash this weekend, guys, from like Wednesday of last week to Sunday. It was Summer Smash, it was his big first form event. Um, if you guys didn't know, we are sponsored athletes with First Form, so we take the supplements and we really just enjoy the, the supplements that they provide. It helps us out a lot, it helps us take care of our body. And 
this man I was talking to in the bathroom actually, you know, we were, t- we were talking you don't, about- You're not supposed to talk to people in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, what, the heck? Heck? what the heck? Is, is that a girl thing? No, it's a guy yeah. thing too. You're talking not supposed to be talking to nobody, but go ahead. Yeah, we go ahead. It's 2022, man. All right, We can ahead. talk in the bathroom. Go ahead, go ahead. So we were talking in the bathroom and he was talking about his clients that he works with. He's based out of New York and he's a local guy and he was talking about his clients that he works with and mostly women who want to get the weight loss surgery. And you know, he said that he's taken a loss of thousands of dollars, not, you know, not doing the surgery for these women or not guiding them. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what his role was, but basically he's the one that kind of leads the women to the surgery. He performs the surgery. I wasn't sure, but he lost a lot of money by getting them to conduct their weight loss in a natural way. So that's one thing that really stuck out to me this, this weekend was like, there are other people that stand for the right thing. I, I don't know. It's kind of the right thing. And the way he see, the way he put it, it was like, you know, I see them and I hear their stories. And at the end of the day, they really want to take the easy way out. And that really stuck to me. And yeah. like, it, it, it did stick to me. I was like, you know, that's the truth because we're natural, you guys. We've never had surgery, weight loss surgery, never had skin removal surgery, never had any type of incisions in our body. Mm. Everything that you see from us is 100% natural. There's no cuts. There's, we can pull up our skin right now. There's no cuts anywhere. So it's like, yeah, interesting that's the thing to too, think like. In my opinion, I've kind of understood that it's like, it's not really your judge, your duty to be someone who is lost weight natural to say that they took an easy way out because. What is it? You were never in their shoes at 650 pounds, 700 pounds. So of yeah, course you could say, and that's a huge oh, amount I, of weight. That's of course, I'm trying to interrupt you, but yeah. that's a huge amount of weight right there. So thank God we never got to fucking like 600, 700 pounds. Exactly. Like, so you don't got even to, understand yeah. what it's like to tell someone that mm-hmm. you can do it the natural way because yes, they could. Obviously, you can lose weight the natural way. Of course, if you're 600 pounds, it's possible to get down to the weight that we are at without getting surgery. Is it going to be harder? Yes. Is it going to take longer? Yes. Some people and the also skin is, the skin is gonna be, you know, the skin is gonna be freaking crazy. You know, the amount of loose skin that you have. So yeah, and just some people don't necessarily have that time to freaking do that because you could probably die of a heart attack the next day. So it's like I understand if that surgery is gonna save your life, go get the surgery, go do that. But saying to push someone to do the workouts and eating healthy, yes, that's the right thing to do. Everybody knows that you should be doing that anyways. Mm-hmm. But if you're at a weight that's like extremely high and you just you don't see a it's way deadly. out. It's deadly. And it's deadly point. and you can get a heart attack in your sleep and you, then yes. Do Even though we could have we could have easily had the same thing. Heart attacks, easily yes, had an enlarged liver, enlarged hearts like that. That's something that and we could easily position, have. And our position, we weren't. Yeah. But we did it. You know what I mean? And so that was from our background of playing football, playing mm-hmm. sports. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, we had a healthy heart that you know wasn't going to shut down on us the next day. But there are people that literally can't get out of bed. So they're trying to lose 50 to 60 pounds just to be able to go get the surgery. Which again, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a long journey, but at the end of the day, it's what you feel is completely right for yourself. And you know the difference between, okay, do I need to get surgery or do I need to be a little bit more disciplined with my diet? Is this something that I can manage and get back to who I should be? Right, so, but yeah, if you're 600, 700 pounds, I was thinking about it last night before I went to sleep because I was thinking this video was very prevalent on my mind and I was just thinking, you know, if they're like that amount of weight where they have to lose 60 to 70 pounds to even get the surgery, like, Dude, just get that shit, man. Just do it. Save your life, man. Just get that shit. Save your freaking life. Our main answer for you to lose weight is to save your life. It's not about looking the best. not about, you know, having the abs and feeling good. All of those things are on top. Those are all toppings. But the main thing you should focus on, the main thing that you should focus on is trying to save your life. And so that's where we come in is like, whatever's going to save your life, go do that. And that's the most important. But really, at the end of the day, how I feel about it is... Like the way I talk to myself and the way I hear my dad would even tell me like, my fuck, you shouldn't be in that position in the first place. That's like, true. You really, That's really true. Being you the, shouldn't be. Really being the best person that you can be, that should be the lowest standard of your life. Like, honestly, that mm-hmm. sh- it shouldn't be like, like you said, it's a topping, but like, I feel like we've been so succumbed to the society where being cut and being with abs and being extremely in shape it's like something that's like supernatural and really, yeah, that's I true. think that's something that should be the fucking baseline of what your life should look like. Yeah, and it just starts with discipline and taking care of yourself one day at a time. And if you're struggling with discipline, those are some things that you can focus on. You know, hey, maybe I can go get a walk in today. Maybe I can do these things, eat a healthier meal. Doing those things, you will lose weight overall. And that's just the principle of being disciplined. So if you're someone that still needs to learn that discipline, then you should go do that exercise. You should go do that workout. You should do it. 
you know, the way that wouldn't cut corners for yourself because you're probably not gonna learn as much if you do go get surgery versus if you know, okay, I gotta lose 70 pounds, I gotta do these things, and you start doing them on your own time. Yeah, and that's, that's 100% right, dude. So, I mean, with this video, guys, we really just wanted to get the point across as to if you should be getting surgery or not, and, you know, kind of what would you say is, is your conclusion, dude? I think you should save your life. I'm not, I'm not anybody to be like, you got to do this with your body because I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't care what you do with your body. I just think that you should save your life. So whatever that is, bro, I'm happy for you. I'm not going to judge you if you did get surgery and say you're a cop out and you got the easy. Bro, what is, who am I to tell yeah, you what true. you do with your body? I don't your life, care, really. That's like goes the same thing with like being transgender or being a gay person or whatever the case is. Like choose to do that. That's completely 100% fine. Yeah. But as soon as it starts to cross over into other people's lives and you're becoming a burden with your weight, whatever it is. To yeah, and you're, and you're life, forcing your standards onto other people with, you know, you got to take care of me. You got to do these things for me. Yeah. Oh, that's where oh, I kind of yeah. cut it off because no one else is in charge of your life but yourself. And if you feel like you're making a right decision by going and getting the surgery, I'm glad you're doing something for yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, going and exercising and doing it, you know, the, the healthier way of getting fit, changing up your diet and you're doing it that way, I'm proud of you too. At the end of the day, I'm more important. I'm more focused on getting someone to where they want to be at the end of the day and how you get there. That could be up for a debate at any time. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is, you know, getting to that version of yourself and learning the principles of what it takes to keep yourself there. Yeah, absolutely. And really being the t best version of yourself, being the best version of yourself yep. should be the baseline yep. and where the superhero factor of your life comes in and the, you know, where the applaud and the praise should come from is you giving back and showing others how to do the same thing because a lot of people lose weight and just keep it to themselves. You know or I mean? they, they gain it back too and there's no honor in that. There's no honor in getting the surgery and then gaining it back. There's no honor in working out and getting it back. You lost something along the way and at the end of the day, it's about building that, those habits, building the discipline and however you get there is your story. But as long as you keep that mentality going throughout your weight loss or throughout your life in general, I'm proud of you, man. And focused, proud of you. and focused on giving back because I can remember running on that treadmill. We didn't touch a weight for the first six to seven months of losing weight. Mm -hmm. I remember running on that treadmill and I was thinking about you. I was thinking about the person watching this video that I can help give back to and help change their life because that is what's the most important to me or what's most important to us. And you know, through the last couple of years of doing free workouts and, and doing um, and giving back and changing thousands of people's lives through weight loss. That is really what our mission is all about in ending obesity around the world. And also guys, if you didn't know, we just dropped a new training platform, which we will have linked below, where you guys can get the most value out of what Angela and I have to bring with our 300 pound natural weight loss. Okay, so you guys get three meal plants tiered to whatever weight you wanna weigh. So say you wanna weigh under 200 pounds, under 190, under 180 pounds. We have all these meal options available for you guys ta tailored to your goals and where you want to get to. We have the workouts available, at-home workouts, gym workouts, and you also get our phone number, okay? So, so you'll be able to keep in touch with yeah. us if you guys have any other questions. So we keep the stress and we keep the confusion out of your journey, guys, to make sure that you get the results most efficiently and most importantly, giving back to those who need it. With that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch up with you guys next time. And as always, don't wait. Lose, Lose weight. weight. We out, baby. <laughs>